What's up guys, my name is Fran and welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is actually about something I'm super excited about and that is because we're gonna be testing out the all new AMD RX 5700 XC graphics card. We're gonna be testing it out on Mac OS and see what type of performance the brand new Navi based architecture is gonna actually give you specifically in the application Final Cut Pro and also how does it perform against its predecessor, the RX 580. <laughs> So recently I tried to do a video on the RX 5700 XT running in Mac OS. Now at the time of me attempting to create that video, I had sadly discovered that Mac OS Mojave did not have support for Navi based graphics cards. But with the recent release of Catalina and also specifically Catalina 10.15.1 beta 2, we actually saw in the release notes added support for Navi based graphics cards. And as a quick note for anyone watching this video and wants to actually try this at home, although I strongly recommend against not using beta software, Software. If you wanted to actually set this up, you do have to downgrade down to Mac OS Mojave and then join the Apple beta software program to then upgrade to the beta version of Catalina that would allow you to run this Navi based graphics card. So before we get into those numbers, I just wanted to make a quick note. So for this particular video, I only ended up testing with Final Cut for a number of reasons. Number one, it's one of the few pieces of editing software that I'm super familiar with, but also because most likely this is beta software, I had a ton of trouble launching DaVinci Resolve as well as Adobe. Adobe Premiere Pro. The application would launch and then immediately close, but I'm hoping under the actual release of the software, Apple will work out all the kinks. So now let's talk about our staging environment. Now I'll leave the actual specifications of the system that I use up on the screen, but it was a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Now the one spec that I did want to highlight is actually the internal graphics card. Now the reason I wanted to highlight the internal graphics card is because in this experiment, we're not only testing with the external GPU, but also the internal GPU. Because in some previous tests in sort of this situation, we actually found that the internal GPU still offered better performance than an eGPU. All right, so for our first experiment, we are going to be doing the scrubbing tests. Now in our final cut timeline with 4K raw footage with both the RX 580 as well as the RX 5700 XT, no surprises here, but with both graphics card, especially once final cut was done rendering, we saw super smooth video scrubbing. Now for the rest of our experiments, we saw a pretty consistent theme. The RX 5700 XT was about 40% faster than the RX 580 in pretty much every way. So in pretty much doing anything else, such as adding stabilization to a video, adding a color grade, or even adding any type of graphics when waiting for Final Cut to finish doing its pre-render, the RX 5700 XT performed about 40% faster. And then I did some experimentation on our master export, and that was me taking our entire 4K timeline with all types of effects and lettering and color grades and actually exporting that to an H.264 video file. And once again, we saw another consistent theme. I have the numbers up here on the screen, but as you guys can see, the RX 5700 XT rendered things way, way faster than the RX RX 580. So that's pretty much it, right? The RX 5700 XT is the top performer. Well, that's not the entire story. So when running these exact same experiments on the internal Radeon 560X graphics card, we saw a very similar performance to the Radeon RX 5700 XT. And that makes for some pretty interesting results for this video. So while the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT offers blazing fast performance when comparing it to the previous generation RX 580, the recommendation actually comes with a condition. It all depends on what type of system you're currently using. If you're using one of the newer iMacs or 15 inch MacBook Pros that have their own AMD graphics card, that direct access to the PCI Express bus might still offer you a little bit better performance than getting something like an RX 5700 paired up with an eGPU. But one thing to make note of is that this software is still in beta and it is possible within the next coming weeks, Apple can do tons of software optimization with the Navi based graphics cards and we can see an even bigger performance leap over the previous generation. But wait, there's still one more question to answer. How would a Navi based graphics card like the RX 5700 XT perform when paired up with a 13 inch Mac MacBook Pro or possibly one of the new Mac minis. Well, you guys are just going to have to subscribe to find out. But that is going to wrap it up for this video for now. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about my setup or anything technical at all, do me a favor, leave them down in the comment section below. Also, while you guys are down there, if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Once again, guys, my name is Fran. Thanks for checking out this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one.